Hey everyone, Three Months from Nuckings here. Um, this is going to be uh, my actually first uh, circuit and showing you on YouTube, but anyways. Um, what I've pretty much got here is a AM transmitter circuit uh, that you can actually just hook up pretty much anything, microphone, iPod, whatever, and you can transmit it over um, the AM broadcast band. Uh, so far, it doesn't really have that great a range, um, but I hope to improve that later on. Uh, so let's just get started here. Uh, what I have here is, first of all, the iPod. And then I have a, I pretty much just gutted a headphone jack and soldered it to these wires which lead to the breadboard. And then on the breadboard, there is a uh, 386 LM386 uh, chip, which is an audio amplifier, and it just audio, uh, amplifies the audio for it. Now, originally I had this set up for a speaker, uh, external speaker, but um, I can use it for my radio as well. Um, and also, I which also I have a uh, 555 timer circuit here which uses a uh, one nanofrod ceramic capacitor and um, two uh, come on two 470 ohm resistors and they can be any wattage um, yeah you can just look in the uh, schematic I uh, posted with this um, but here's basically how it works uh, the 555 generates the carrier frequency which it, it will transmit about at 1 megahertz which is the upper band of the AM broadcast band and that feeds into a transistor which amplifies the carrier signal so you can try to get better range out of it and then it leads into another transistor right here that takes the output from the, the LM386 and it just merges it with the carrier frequency uh, to give you the actual radio transmission. And then this coil here is just standard magnetic wire. Um, I looped it around and then just glued it so it will hold together with some hot glue. And then it's just a um, standard iron bar here for the coil. Helps you try to get better range if you're lucky enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it up for you. Turn on my radio. Right now there's only static since um, fortunately I've actually tuned, I actually tuned my 555 to a blank station so fortunately for me now I'll just plug in my iPod and I'm gonna play some music uh, don't stop believing sounds good and I have to tune the radio because sometimes it the 555 gets out of tune and I have to actually retune my radio. If you can hear it. And pretty much I have to keep it on low for the volume setting because if I get it any higher quality goes bad. Let me try to pull the radio forward. There we go. Oh and by the way, um, in case you haven't noticed, uh, make sure you, if you want to build this yourself, make sure you get the TLC 555 or just one of the newer 555 five timer circuits because the original one the NE 555 
uh, can only achieve a maximum frequency of 500 kilohertz. The TLC 555 can achieve up to 2 megahertz. So, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just post them and I'll try to get back to you with them. And uh, just please comment, rate, or sub. And thank you for watching.